Hi, my name's Evan and welcome to EK Ruby Analysis. In this video I'll be taking a closer look at the technique behind Stuart Hawk's superb spiral kick for Scotland against England and looking to show you how you can do it too. So, let's rewind the tape and look at Hogg's kick again in more detail. As Hogg gathers the ball here, the first thing I want to draw your attention to is how he stands tall before kicking, chin over toes. By leaning forward rather than back, Hogg can generate more power through his core when kicking the ball. Moving on to the second element of the spiral kick now, let's pull up a picture of a ball in a boot for a moment. When people are starting out trying to spiral kick first, they often will kick with the side of the ball or across the ball with the side or foot to generate the spiral effect. While this will lead to the ball moving in a spinning motion, you will often sacrifice power and accuracy as a result. If we look at how Hogg is holding the ball in this video, he's allowing the ball to do the work by holding at a 45 degree angle before dropping it. This allows him to still generate spin while kicking straight through the ball with the hard part of his foot. As we can see, every part of Hogg's body is powering through to the target here as he finishes his kick, resulting in this beautiful spiral that makes the ball bounce perfectly into the corner. What a kick! By Scotland's captain. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully this video inspires you to get outside and try to spiral it like Stuart Hogg. Anthony Watson, who must be desperate to get a touch of the ball. He's made zero carries so far, still alongside Ollie Lawrence.